Oh hey, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm using a robot voice for the first time, so, please bear with me as I try to work with this thing. Welcome to my unhelpful, but hopefully helpful guide, to Baby Metal's backup dancers. So now you're probably wondering. Wait, an unhelpful guide to Baby Metal's backup dancers? Yes, this is an unhelpful guide, to Baby Metal's backup dancers, along with the Avengers. Since I think all of them deserve much more love and appreciation. So, if I see any rude comments towards them, they will be deleted, since this is not the place to hate on them, or make comparisons. Also, I tried as hard as I can to find information on everyone in this video, but a lot of info was few and far between, or just didn't exist at all, so, if I missed anything in this video, please let me know. Okay, now with that all out of the way, sovereigns, empresses, duchesses, dukes, and jesters, let's get this shit percolated. Okay, so since I couldn't find any information about the actual Sister Bones, I'll just do a brief overview of their time in Baby Metal. The Sister Bones were Baby Metal's first backup dancers, and were mostly used during Black Baby Metal stages. Their first appearance was at Legend D, which was the concert, to celebrate Sir Metal's 15th birthday. If you're having a hard time deciphering who the Sister Bones are, they are the ones wearing skeleton costumes, along with masks to conceal their identities. Sailor V is shaking in her boots. Oh no, I lost my pen. You can borrow mine? Thanks. I lost something once. I lost something I couldn't live without. My identity. So anyway, thanks for the pen. No problem, huh? Okay, moving on. Their next appearance was at Legend 1999, which was the concert, to celebrate both Yui and Moa's 15th birthdays. They performed with Yui during her Chikoto Love Solo stage, and with Moa during her Love Machine Solo stage. A few months later, they reappeared at Legend 1997, which was the concert, to celebrate Sumetal's 16th birthday. They performed Headbanger, Night of 15 mix with all three members, and Onidari Daisaku Sen with both Yui and Moa. Their last appearance for quite a long time was at Budokan Black Knight in 2014, where they danced with Yui and Moa during Onidari Daisaku Sen and Song for Utah. Seven years later, they made a resurgence at Baby Metal's 10 year anniversary shows at Budokan. Muscle Metal first appeared during Baby Metal's US tour in early 2018. This was during the time that Yui was still on hiatus, so they were brought in to support Sue and Moa. Side note, these 2018 outfits were superior. We love elven princesses from another dimension. Anyways, during the infamous Kansas City show, Muscle Metal performed GJ with Moa and did a fight scene during Sue's solo, Akatsuki. They toured with Sue and Moa for 5 months, in places such as the US, Europe, and Japan. Their last appearance for a while was a Dark Knight Carnival in October 2018, as a part of the Chosen Seven. Three years later, Muscle Metal made a resurgence at the 10-year anniversary shows at Budokan, performing Akatsuki with Sue Metal. It is rumored that the original duo returned at Budokan, but, since we can only rely on fan cams and second-hand information, this is all up for speculation. Alright, now on to the two members of Muscle Metal. First up is Mina Metal. Mina Metal or Sukui Minami was born on the 18th of December, 1987 in Saitama. 
She is very small, standing at about 5 feet 4. Menemi is also a giant foodie, and her favorite foods consists of natto rice, hamburgers, cheese, peaches, and chocolate. Menemi is giving Moa a run for her money. Her special skills are hip hop and jazz dancing, and she also likes to sew. Okay, since a lot of people in the baby metal fandom probably don't know this, including myself, Menemi actually had a prominent role in Kamen Rider, along with roles in other tokusatsu shows and movies. She played Yoko Minato, or Kamen Rider Mari Kan in Kamen Rider Gaim. Before Kamen Rider Gaim, she played other characters in Kamen Rider Dino and Kamen Rider W. Hey, She also had roles in other tokusatsu shows and movies. Playing Linshi in Juken, Sentai Geki Ranger, and Maki in Space Squad. As of 2021, Minami is currently a freelancer, and regularly posts on her Instagram. I can totally see why Baby Metal chose her as a backup dancer. I mean, come on, look at her high kicks. We stan, a ninja warrior. Next up is Miko Metal. Miko Metal, or Maru Yamami Naka was born on the 5th of March, 1988, in Kanagawa. She is also very small, standing at about 5 feet 3. She is one of the members of Eleven Play, an all-female Japanese dance troupe created by Baby Metal's choreographer, Miki Keo Mizuno. Speaking of Eleven Play, back in 2017, Baby Metal actually sent them congratulatory flowers for one of their shows. I honestly consider checking out Eleven Play's performances on YouTube, since they are actually quite good. Besides being in Eleven Play, Minako has been a choreographer for various different things, mostly stage shows, and specializes in jazz and street dancing. Speaking of stage shows, since 2004, Minako has also acted in numerous live shows, but was usually regulated to smaller roles. I can honestly see why Minako was chosen to be a dancer for Baby Metal. She is immensely talented, and it shows through her work as a choreographer and dancer. We love a talented queen. Okay, now on to the chosen seven. Alright, so this is where some baby metal lore comes into play. It all starts at Sir Metal's 20th birthday concerts, Legend S. The show starts off stating that a new legend will arrive with light. The light comes from hope. And the fox god is said to have sent a beam of light. That leads to a goddess who must sacrifice herself to said light in order to be reborn as the new messiah, which is what happens towards the end of Legend S with Sir Metal's crucifixion. After this death, she flies off as to use her voice to put lights into the sky, in the form of stars. These stars then shine down onto the people, who then become the one. Now, this is where the Chosen Seven comes in. Since light comes from hope, the darkness comes from fear, and they cannot exist without one another. When light and darkness intersects, it reveals an unknown dimension, known as the Metal Galaxy. The seven existing metal spurts transcend space, and after being led by an invisible force, became the Chosen Seven. The Metal Galaxy is the only place where the Chosen Seven can reveal themselves, and this is how we get to Dark Knight Carnival, which represents the dark side of the Metal Galaxy. Okay, now with all of that out of the way, we can now discuss the members of the Chosen Seven. Since Minako and Minami are also a part of the Chosen Seven, I'll just do the remaining three members that are included. 
So, the first remaining member of the Chosen Seven is Shoko Metal, or Akiyama Shoko. Shoko only performed with Baby Metal at the Dark Knight Carnival shows in Japan. So now, this would be the part where I list off facts about her and whatnot, but I literally could not find any information about her, which is a shame, so this section will probably be 30 seconds long. The only info I could find is that, just like me Nako, she is a member of 11play. She also has an Instagram that she posts on. That's it. That's literally all I could find. This is so humiliating! Alright, moving on. Next up is Seiya Metal. Seiya Metal, or Hirei Seiya was born on the 9th of January, 2000, in Osaka. I couldn't find out how tall she is, but, I'm assuming she is quite small, which I think, is a requirement to becoming a baby metal backup dancer. She first performed with baby metal at the Dark Knight Carnival shows in Japan, and later went on to perform with Sue and Moa in Singapore, and Australia. During this time, a lot of people did suspect that Seiya would become a member of baby metal, since, she filled a new ease old spot who departed from the group in early October, but, that never ended up happening. She was a former member of Kalas Dance School, a dance and vocal school located in her hometown Osaka, and graduated in 2019. As of 2021, she is a current member of Torahime Ichiza, a theatre company that belongs to Amuse, which, of course, specialises in theatre shows. She used to post on her Instagram and Twitter, but after joining Torahime, she promptly stopped, which is a shame. Besides that, I wish Seiya the best on her future endeavors. She truly deserves the world. Now, the final member of the Chosen Seven is Koto Metal. Koto Metal, or Katono Imori, was born of the 1st of October, 2000. Just like Shoko, she only performed with Baby Metal at the Dark Knight Carnival shows in Japan. Along with Seiya, she was a former member of Kalas Dance School. Speaking of which, during their graduation ceremony, both Seiya and Katono, along with another member of Kalas, performed Baby Metal's Give Me Chocolate. They even used their stage names, Seiya Metal and Katono Metal. She is currently the lead vocalist of Iron Bunny, a co-ed hard rock group that debuted in 2018, with one member, named Eddie Iron Bunny. It wasn't until the 28th of March, 2019, that Katono, along with third member Minami, joined the group. You should totally check out Iron Bunny's music. Tono is immensely talented. She is a badass guitar player.
an amazing singer. And a great dancer. Stan Katono and Iron Bunny for clear skin. Now, onto the section that I think half the people watching are waiting for. Let's get to the Avengers. Now, who in God's name are the Avengers? Who are your backup dancers? What can you tell us about this new addition to Baby Metal? They are the Avengers. The Avengers? You know, yes. And uh, chosen by the Fox God. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> no, but seriously, who are they? The Avengers were first introduced at the beginning of the Metal Galaxy era of Baby Metal. In the Baby Metal lore, Three arrows that were shot up into the skies became said Avengers. Three fired arrows arc into the starry skies, transforming into the Avengers. But I think that half-assed explanation is complete and utter bullshit, so whatever. They were introduced to support Sue and Moa, and filled in for Yui's old spot, occasionally switching in and out between songs. And to support Sue Metal and More Metal, three brave Avengers were sung by the Fox God. Today, one out of these three chosen dancers will be selected. But who will be sung is something only the Fox God knows. The trio have been with Baby Metal for the past two years, and have accompanied them, through various arena shows, and concerts in Japan, Europe, and the United States. Now, let's get to know the three amazing people, that make up the Avengers. First up is Riho Metal. Riho Metal or Sayashi Riho, was born on the 28th of May, 1998 in Hiroshima. Just like everyone else. She is quite small, standing at 5 feet 1. She comes from a very music-loving family, and in 2004, she enrolled into actor school Hiroshima, to focus on dancing. Also, guess who went to that same exact school in 2006? You can even see Sue and Riho dancing, and singing together on stage. The both of them were even considered to have a friendly rivalry of some sorts, during their time at Ash. And Riho was also friends with Sue's older sister, Himika Nakamoto. It's just full circles all around. Also, you can totally see Riho's dancing and singing potential during her time in Hiroshima. She's honestly amazing. Okay.
Riho is a former, ninth generation member of Morning Musume, a popular J-pop girl group. Joining the group on the 2nd of January, 2011, at the age of 12. Speaking of Morning Musume, they released the absolute bop that is Love Machine, which is a song both Riho and Moa performed on different occasions. They also released the bop that is Chikoto Love, which is a song that Yui sang during Legend Morning Musume. She was known to be a very popular member and even became a central figure as a main vocalist and dancer. She was even coined the term absolute ace by the Japanese media. Riho graduated from Morning Musume on the 31st of December, 2015, and even talked about it briefly in a recent interview. とは思うんですよ、自分の中で。なので、そういうものをこう一度手放すっていう気持ちよりも、なんか大人になった時のことを考えて、将来のことを考えてやっぱ行動した方がいいんじゃないかなっていうふうに思い始めたっていうのがメ
So, what has Riho been doing besides being an Avenger? On the 30th of April, 2020, Riho joined Instagram. On the 15th of July, it was announced that Riho was cast as the lead role in the musical, Kuro Seike, as Lily, a role that she played during her time in Morning Musume, in 2014. After signing with JME in September, Riho opened up her official website on the 21st of October. And on the 24th of October, she opened up her official fan club named Seishi Hitotachi. On the 5th of December, she started her new radio show on MBS Radio, and on her 23rd birthday, which is coming up very soon, Riho will be doing a one-man live solo concert to celebrate. Now, onto some facts about lovely Riho Riho. Riho herself has said that she is immensely shy, especially when meeting new people and making new friends. Despite being an amazing dancer, Riho is clumsy as all hell. Like, really clumsy. She even mentioned cutting herself on a juice can when she was little, resulting in a scar on her chin. She is also very chaotic and has an adorable laugh. She can also bend both her fingers all the way back. She has a younger sister and a younger brother, and her uncle was a former Hiroshima Carp baseball player. Her favorite foods are peaches, noodles, chicken wings, sushi, oysters, etc., and her least favorite foods are carrots, shrimps, and eggs. Her favorite colors are pink, white, black, green, and blue, and her favorite movie is Finding Nemo. She has a hamster named Kirimaru-chan, which she posts about on her Insta. Since Riho studied in New York, she actually speaks English and has been getting better and better at it. I'm Riho Sayashi. We're here to show you what dance moves and formation. We're gonna give it we're gonna give it We're gonna give it our own today What time do you wake up every day? What time do I make, wake up every day? Uh, basically I w wake up at 8 but I woke up uh, just before 12 <laughs> today yeah so 
Yeah, that's why I'm yeah, I'm late today. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate. How often do you practice dance every uh, these days? I, I, mm, I practice every day, almost every day. But I did, I did, I practiced yesterday a lot. <laughs> I don't even think I need to explain why Riho was picked as an Avenger. Like she's talented as hell. No one is doing it like her, and we have no choice but to stand. Next up is Momoko Metal. Momoko Metal, or Akazaki Momoko, was born on the 3rd of March, 2003, in Fukuoka. Out of the three Avengers, she is the tallest, standing at 5 feet 2. She is a former member of Sakura Gakuin, a Japanese school-themed idol girl group formed in 2010. She joined the group on the 6th of May, 2015, and became the Perseverance, or Ganbare Chairman, in 2017. She was also a part of Mini Patty, and wore the yellow bandana, which is the same one Yui wore during her time in SG. She graduated from Sakura Gakuin on the 24th of March, 2018, and was rumored to have studied abroad presumably in Australia or New Zealand for a while, until returning to Japan. She has spent some time in musicals also. Momoko is actually the last Avenger to debut with Baby Metal, appearing with them in Taiwan at Super Slipper Festival Day 2. Just like Riho, she has appeared in numerous other shows, which include The Forum, Legend Metal Galaxy Tour in Japan, Legend Metal Galaxy Days 1 and 2, and other shows in the US, Europe, and Japan. As of mid to late 2020 into early March 2021, Momoko is the only Avenger we have seen in quite a while, performing at Songs of Tokyo 2020, VMAs 2020, Rock Make and Livestream, CDTV Christmas Special, Music Superstation Live 2020, New Year's Kohaku, and almost all of the 10 shows at Budokan. She was even coined the term, Angel of Joy, by some baby metal fans, due to her bubbly personality, and her tendency to smile a lot during her performances. Now on to some facts, about lovely Momoko-san. She actually delved into modeling for a while. Modeling for Love Berry, a Japanese fashion magazine. Her favorite food are pickled plums, and her least favorite, is bitter gourd. Kirei no tabemono wa gouya desu. 
She is an impressive arm wrestler, as shown in this SG clip. She is genuinely funny and is chaotic level, 26,171,718. She also literally never stops smiling. Like damn, I wish I had the energy to be that happy. She even smiles more than Moa, which is saying a lot.私たちは今2月3月に行うライブに向けて練習などを頑張っているんですが私たち桜学院の特集を掲載したVTVロングインタビューにグラビアそしてアルバムの特典映像に大ボリュームの内容となっておりますはいフリーマガジンなのでぜ
She even shed a tear during Road of Resistance at the forum, which I think shows how dedicated she is and how much she loves baby metal fans. What a cutie. And now, last but certainly not least, is Kano Metal. Kano Metal, or Fujihira Kano, was born on the 28th of August, 2004, in Chiba, making her the youngest person to join Baby Metal. She is the same height as Riho, standing at 5 feet 1. Just like Momoko, she is a former member of Sakura Gakuen, and was even paired up with her a few times. She joined the group on the 6th of May, 2015, just like Momoko, and became performance chairman in 2018, and the 9th student council president, in 2019. She was also a part of, Sleep Peace, an SG subunit. Kano was set to graduate from Sakura Gakuen on the 29th of May, 2020, but, due to the pentagram, it was postponed to the 30th of August. 2020. Kano was actually the second Avenger to join Baby Metal, first appearing at Baby Metal Awakens, The Sun Also Rises, Day 2. Kano is the only Avenger to not participate in Baby Metal's tour in the US and Europe, and has only appeared in shows at Japan, which means that out of the three of them, she has done the least amount of shows. She was an Avenger at Legend M Day 2, Music Station Ultra Live, and Legend Metal Galaxy Days 1 and 2. She is actually a part of a somewhat new group called, At 1-5, a J-pop girl group formed on the 19th of October, 2019, by Spawn of Satan Amuse. They just released the absolute bop, that is BBB, which you should totally check out. This is probably why Kano wasn't as involved in baby metal activities, since she's been busy with 1-5. Also considering the fact that she is an actual child. Now on to some facts about little baby Kano. Just like Momoko, she is a ball of chaos. <laughs> さん。さっき世に今住んでしたっけ。あれ藤平さん。いつも金子の藤平っていうなんか名前聞いたわ。聞いた。藤井は藤井かも。藤井は。すげえ踊って。すげえ踊って。さあ、こういうことで藤平。
During her time in Sakuragakuen, Kano, along with two other SG members, performed Give Me Chocolate and was in Moa Metal's spot. Also, we got this. Kano is the cutest bob ever, and I wish her all the best in the world. Holy crap, that was a lot of information I had to go through for this video. Like, this took me almost a week to make. I actually found out a lot about these girls, and was even introduced to new music I've never really listened to before, so, this was quite fun to do. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out any of the dancers in this video, I will link everyone's social media, along with the clips and music that I used in the description. Also, I made a second channel where I will post less formal videos compared to this one, which I will also put in the description box. Alright, wherever you are in the world, have a great day. Kids and up.